You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, GH fans. So we've got a special March spoilers edition for you. The ABC Network just released some sizzling preview spoilers for the rest of the month. They released them to TV Guide, but the new issue is not even out for sale yet. So this is a little advanced leak of that. And this is, of course, Belinda from Soap Dirt. So I'm going to spill four March spoilers for you. One for Jason Morgan, one for Alexis and Diane, one for Ava and Sunny, and the last for Drew and Carly. And hey, please click subscribe if you have not yet done that. And now let's just get right into it. Our first preview spoiler for March, Jason Morgan is back, as you know, but is he the same? That's what the spoiler asks. So it's more of a questioning spoiler than an informative spoiler. Very vague, right? So far, Jason Morgan, to me, seems pretty much the same. He's in all black, and he's not doing anything that I see so far is wrong. He messed up the sniper's shot when he aimed at Sonny, and the moment Jason saw Dante, he kicked into high gear. He killed the sniper with him, and then he did some top-notch field first aid on the cop. He saved the life of Sonny's oldest son. I have no doubt that Dante would have bled out on the pier if he had not been there because those were armor piercing rounds they cut through dante's vest like it was nothing so he had these two chest cavity wounds that's where your lungs are his lungs are collapsing things were looking dire this week the doctors debated whether he was even strong enough to make it through surgery to repair the damage And when Spinelli and Ava were looking at the drone footage and they saw Jason on the rooftop, I mean, it was clear Jason was there conspiring with the sniper who was taking the shot. He was right there. He wasn't fighting him or anything. Looked like they were partners, which it did seem like. And then Ava showed it to Sonny and they have to conclude that Jason's back to kill Sonny. But will they figure out that Jason saved Dante and then pause to think for a moment? We also have... that Jason deal where he's been gunshot. He was shot by his sniper partner. He killed him. He was obviously a better shot than the sniper who shot him. Jason ignored his wound, tended to Dante, and then when he heard the ambulance, he left. The spoilers hint he may head for Elizabeth's house for medical help. And then Jason is arrested soon. I've shown you guys the little mugshot picture that was in the behind the scenes stuff. I wonder if Spinelli is going to delete some of the footage that shows Jason to make sure Agent Jagger Cates can't get his mitts on it or not. That footage might be the reason that Jason is arrested. I would hope the Jackal would have some residual loyalty to Stone Cold, but it doesn't look good. So... I know fans debated a lot whether Jason might be brainwashed. Medically, he's got a brain full of scar tissue supposed to make him unbrainwashable. But, you know, maybe he's pretending that he is. There's that option. He's faking it. That's a viable, viable theory, right? I'm still wondering if Peter or Victor dug him out of the rubble, did something to him. I mean, to me, it really seems like he's himself. He saved Sonny, he saved Dante, and he killed the sniper. His agenda so far doesn't seem evil or destructive at least in regard to the people in Port Charles that he cared about. So obviously there's probably going to be some after effects of his near death two years ago. I mean, how many times can a man die and keep coming back the same, right? But so far he does not seem unhinged, brainwashed, or out of control to me. We'll just wait and see. All right, the second preview spoiler, Ava and Sunny keep on getting closer. I've been saying this right here at the channel. I've touched on it in a few videos. Ava and Sunny are heating up, and this is a very interesting spoiler for them. It's been a long, slow burn that seemed obviously improbable before. I mean, it would make no sense for them to be together. She gaslit him into killing AJ. They had crypt sex at AJ's funeral, made a baby. She tampered with his mental meds, with Morgan's mental meds. That directly contributed to Morgan's death. Plus, she shot Sonny's fiance, Connie Falconeri, in cold blood. And yet here they are acting like they are each other's person. This week, they have more close moments. She's the one person who showed him some grace about the Karen Wexler sins from his past. She has proved 
recently that he can trust her and he literally has shielded her from gunfire with his own body a couple of times now. And as off kilter as it all seems, you know, Sonny's in a weird place right now. He feels betrayed by Nina and Carly and Michael and Dex, people he trusted and loved, but it's Ava who is there for him now living under his roof, sharing his life, sharing his confidences. He has talked to her more about mob business than I think he's ever talked to any other woman. I mean, cause she's been there. She's, you know, a retired lady mobster. And now Sonny thinks his ex bestie enforcer, Jason is gunning for him. That's going to feel like another betrayal. I would not be surprised if very soon he takes comfort in Ava and they hit the sheets. Maybe later they feel weird about it. Say it can't happen again. I bet it will. We'll see how it goes. But this, this spoiler is very exciting to me. I'm a villain lover. If you listen to our channel here, watch our channel a lot, you will know that about me. I am a villain lover and Ava's a big old villain. Sonny's a low key villain. We'll see how it goes. All right. Our third March spoiler, Drew and Carly make a decision about their future. Future. This spoiler is so vague, it could go either way. I know Carly feels like she owes Drew loyalty because he went to prison to save her from going to prison, but he can't let go of his vendetta against Nina, and I don't think Nina's going to let go of it either. So I think Drew is not going to be able to stop like Carly has asked him to do, because if Nina's hitting at him, no way is he going to let that go unanswered. And can you blame him? But Carly's been clear that the whole Nina Vendetta is a deal breaker for her. Plus, it's all so complicated by Jason's return. Carly actress Laura Wright said recently that Jason's return fires up the part of Carly that fights for him and believes in him and stands next to him no matter what. And not everybody can handle that. That's what she said. I think the not everybody part really means it's Drew that can't handle it. Even if these two decide that they're going to move forward together, I honestly don't see it lasting with Jason back. I suspect Carly finds out later this week, maybe early next week, that her bestie is back in town and possibly involved in these mob slangs. But of anyone in Port Charles that will have faith in Jason's motives and actions, I think Carly would be the first to have his back. All right, our last March preview spoiler is a strange one. Diane has optimistic news for Alexis. So it's kind of ticklish, you know. Alexis wants Nina out of the invader, but I don't see really how Diane can help with that. Valentine owns the company. I don't think Diane can solve that problem for her. Alexis is worried about Gregory Chase. I don't see how Diane could really help with that either. The one thing that really springs to my mind that could be Diane bringing news to Alexis that she might be able to get back her law license. I always see fans on soap social media hoping to see Alexis out of the newspaper business and back to being a top legal eagle in Port Charles. I know that Diane despises Nina and would definitely take a chance to take her down and get her out of Alexis's way, but I'm not sure how she can do it unless she can find some way to invalidate the sale of the invader from Sean to Valentine. Maybe there's some legal loophole, you know, I mean, there are certain standards you're supposed to go through before you buy a newspaper, but is that, is it even a print paper? Is it only digital now? Cause like literally anybody can have a website anyway. Um, it's, it's kind of interesting to watch Alexis versus Nina, but as a lawyer, I don't know why she's so angry that Nina reported a crime, but then again, Alexis was a mob lawyer for a long time. So maybe she's got that snitches, get stitches, school of thought and all that. So wait to see. I hope it's something juicy. And if it is about Alexis's law license, I mean, that could definitely be interesting because she would go probably to practice law, walk away, and that would leave Nina as the sole person in charge of the invader. And then she could wield it like a weapon against people she dislikes, which of course include Carly and Drew, and very soon may include Ava and Sunny when they get closer. We'll just have to watch and see. Hey, drop your comments on these March preview spoilers. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already, and please come back soon. We are here talking General Hospital seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. 
Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 